Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, the beauty of mathematics, part two. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and turn on the, the bell notification icon so that you can get notified of future videos. I published a video on this, uh, this, this chart about a month ago, and I said the first of every month, or the beginning of every month, I'll be providing an update. That way we can systematically follow the, the entire cryptocurrency market cap throughout this market cycle. So here I am providing an update to that. And then we're also gonna dive into, dive into it a little bit more than we did last time. So let's go ahead and jump in. I would remind you to check out the Telegram channel if you guys want to talk about these charts and join a growing community of cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Um, so this here is our total cryptocurrency market cap as valued on August 1st, 2020. The the cryptocurrency market cap as of today is 336 billion with the fair value trend line at approximately 464 billion, which means that we're undervalued still by about 28%. So this right encompasses our fair value, the red line that you see going across the, play, the page. The green line helps us to identify, you know, the, the, the undervaluation regions in terms of, okay, when is the best time among the best times to get into cryptocurrency? And then the upper one tries to identify the beginning of speculative bubbles and then ultimately their peaks. Now, one of the things I should make clear in this video that was not clear in the last one is that this is the total cryptocurrency market cap. It's still said crypto market cap up here, um, but there were a fair number of people that thought it was just referring to Bitcoin. No, this is referring to the entire cryptocurrency market cap. I'm just calling the title of the video Bitcoin just so that it, you know, it, it basically is Bitcoin for the most part. If you were to draw the crypto, draw the Bitcoin market cap, it wouldn't really start to diverge too much until we got later, later on into our entire, you know, cycle here. Um, but I just wanted to, to clarify that, that it is the entire cryptocurrency market cap and not just Bitcoin. So one of the things I, I want to show you guys, and, and this is going to be somewhat dependent on, or it is dependent on the aspect ratio, but we're going to just go through a case study here. So if we first draw a line from our bottom to our peak, bottom to our peak, bottom to peak each cycle, and then look at the angles that they form with the vertical line. So we're not measuring it from the horizontal, we're measuring it from the vertical. You can see that the first one is 21.6 degrees. Now again, this obviously would depend on your aspect ratio. So the actual degrees is, is fairly unimportant. Therefore, it, it really doesn't make sense to actually get a, a trend from it since, you know, or we can't say take the ratio of, of angles or anything because it really does depend on the aspect ratio. Now from the next bottom to peak, it's approximately 43.6 degrees. Okay, so you can see as we're, as we're continuing on during the cycle, you know, you can, the first thing you notice is that our ROI is going down, but also um, the the time to get there is increasing as we've shown many times. And then the last one being 57.6 degrees. Now, if we use the same angle as the last cycle, okay, so this is a, uh, just a, a, you know, a, a thought exercise, and we assume a four-year cycle, which I don't believe is the case, but let's assume a four-year cycle just so we appeal to, you know, to people who do believe it's a four-year cycle. If it's the same angle as the last cycle, then maybe we would expect something like this um, in order to reach the same ROI that we saw last cycle. Now, this unfortunately is likely not gonna happen because this is actually around a hundred trillion dollar market cap, which I don't even think the most bullish among of, you know, the most bullish among us really believe will happen this market cycle. Well, if we increase the angle, let's say to approximately 68 degrees, and we still assume a four-year cycle, then you know maybe we would see something like this where we slow where we peak just above the green line you can see the dashed line or, or the peaks above the dashed line are getting closer to it so we would expect the next one to be even closer this might put us at a several trillion dollar market cap uh, by the end of 2021 or very beginning of 2022 approximately speaking now if we were to go with my preferred method or theory which is lengthening cycle theory then we would expect it to happen you know, sometime in this range. So the end of 2022 to maybe sometime in 2024. And if we were to draw out a projection, it might look, it, it could look something like this, okay? Now, I wanna remind you guys of this trend line before we jump into, into something a little bit new, is you know, this is our, our valuation versus our trend line to just give you guys an update. We are still you know, well below our theoretical upper limit. 
we are still within our undervaluation region, right? I mean, we're still below 100%. 100% would mean we are at fair value, which is the red line. And you can see we're below the red line, meaning we're still undervalued in terms of the entire cryptocurrency market cap. Now, if we were to you know, project out again the next peak, it would look like something, it would look something like that, I believe. But here's the interesting thing. So if you, first of all, before we get into that, I, I just wanna you know, show you guys this chart relates to these peaks here. So this peak is this one, this peak right here is corresponds to this one, and then this one right here corresponds to this one. And it's just the valuation of it with respect to the trend line, and then this next projection out. Now, let's suppose that the total cryptocurrency market cap is 10 trillion in 2023. Let's suppose that because if we go with lengthening cycle theory and then you know suppose that it peaks right above the green the green regression line at around 10 trillion dollars let's suppose the entire market cap of crypto is 10 trillion in 2023. let's also suppose that the price of bitcoin in 2023 is 140,000. why do we say this well if you look at our fair value or, our, or say our, our regression analysis based on non-bubble data and our regression analysis based on you know our, our peaks to sell and look out toward, towards say 2023 we, we would get around hundred and forty thousand dollars give or take a few k what's a few k among friends now if if that's the case we know that the projected supply of Bitcoin in 2023 is going to be around 19.381 million therefore if the projected market cap of Bitcoin in 2023 at this valuation is approximately 2.7 trillion, and the total market cap of the entire cryptocurrency asset class is 10 trillion, then that would give us a Bitcoin dominance of approximately 0.27 or 27%. Um, and this would be at the peak of the market cycle. Now, does this make sense? So, you know, just looking at, at a, a dominance of 27% makes sense. Well, if we pull up our Bitcoin dominance chart, and just draw general trend lines to say this is, you know, this was where we spent most of our time. This was a speculative bubble. We're just looking at it upside down, right? I mean, normally when you look at bubbles, you see, you know, you see things slightly going up for a while, and then we get into the into the bubble phase, and then we continue on. So we're just looking at it upside down. The other way to look at it would be the altcoin dominance, which show it the the, the normal way that you would see a speculative bubble. Here we're just showing the Bitcoin dominance. And you can see, you know, we're in this trend line here. And then we go into our speculative bubble around Bitcoin getting to its previous all-time high or after it. And then at the end of the bull run. And then it came back up into our into our trend line here. And note that this is a couple weeks old. So the Bitcoin dominance has, has actually changed since I, I made this chart. Now, if the projected Bitcoin dominance at the peak is 0.27, then that puts us all the way down here. Now, the way we could get there, right, is if is, you know, some some pattern like this, maybe the Bitcoin dominance, you know, it, it, it'll drop and, and increase at various points, depending on when Bitcoin makes the run at 20K. I feel like when it does, Bitcoin dominance will, will skyrocket when Bitcoin is, is going to 20K. Um, but then ultimately, once it gets past 20K, I, this is when altcoins will, will probably start shining more so than they already have been. And this is where we can go into, say, another speculative bubble which could theoretically get us down to that, you know, 27% or 27% Bitcoin dominance. But again, it would be but a fleeting moment in time, not something that, that would be sustainable at all. And then we would likely come back up into our general trend line, maybe even coming up back to a dominance of Bitcoin around 60% or so. Uh, so, you know, I could see the Bitcoin dominance going as low as 27%, but, but quickly retracing back upwards to, you know, around 60% or in that region. So this is, this is basically what I, what I wanted to cover for this video in terms of giving you guys an update to the entire cryptocurrency market cap because this was a popular video last time and, and people were really interested in, in you know, following this over the next market cycle. So I do want to provide videos for you guys every single month. Now, if you guys like the content, we do have a premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. So you guys can check it out on that list you get access to a lot of different things. You get access to uh, a premium newsletter every every single week, a premium video every single week. Also, you get access to a premium Telegram alerts channel to let you know what I think is going on in the market and the trades that I'm making. And then finally, you get access to a Google Sheets risk dashboard, which is the risk levels that I trade off of. So if you guys like the content and you, you think like this is this kind of fits what you're looking for, then please check out intothecryptoverse.com and you can pay with crypto 
And if you pay for the 12 months, you actually get a 15% discount. So I would encourage you guys to check it out. The prices will be going up in the next few weeks, likely sometime in August. But if you get in now, you'll be grandfathered in at the current price. So do check it out. We also do have the Telegram channel that you guys should join if you want access to, you know, to, to discuss these charts with me and also a lot of other people. We have over 4,800 people in the, in the chat group. And then finally, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up to help it with the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see that Bitcoin is on track. It never left its track. It's never died. It's been, it's been on the same track it's always been on. And we're just continuing to march on business as usual. So thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate the support. I appreciate you subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.